For many, these yellow biohazard suits have become the international symbol for Ebola. The sealed plastic gowns help keep the virus out. The medics inside them are putting their lives on the line every day. And here's what they're facing. Health systems in the three worst affected countries were already weak before Ebola struck. Now they are decimated. My name's Dr Oliver Johnson. I'm a British doctor in Connaught Hospital in Freetown, Sierra Leone. Every day we're seeing more cases. What's remarkable is that a lot of patients come in and they can... You come in in the morning and they are talking. They're a little bit weak and a little bit tired, but they're talking OK. And then by the evening, they're pretty confused and pretty frustrated. And then by the following morning, you come in and they're dead. And it's pretty difficult, I think, for all of us, all the health workers here, day in, day out, to be seeing so many patients who are dying. When international health workers became infected with the virus, they were flown home for treatment to Spain, the US and to the UK. British nurse Will Pooley was flown back on a military plane and treated in a specialist isolation chamber at a hospital in London. I was scared, especially on the, on the plane. If it went, you know, the worst way, then it's still I wouldn't, I wouldn't suffer in the way uh, in the way that patients and victims do here. Will Pooley recovered and is now back treating patients in Freetown. He's the first to point out that it's local medics doing most of the work and making the biggest sacrifices. Bilikisu, who now works alongside Will, also recovered from Ebola. She lost 17 family members to the virus and was ostracized by her community. I come to work when I'm in the hospital setting. I feel belong, I feel love, and I feel everything because when I go back home, I didn't have anybody to talk to. Um, even my friends do ignore me. They didn't welcome me when I go back home. So that's why I decided to come back to the hospital because when I come to the hospital, I feel belong. So that's why I decided to come. Those working in clinics in villages are particularly vulnerable. They're often the first to see sick patients, sometimes without proper protection. Joyce has lost three of her colleagues. Well, it's really painful. It's really painful. At times, I, I make up my mind I should not go out to work, but I've been signed for it. So, I'll go. These are the heroes of this outbreak. The doctors, the nurses, the grave diggers, the cleaners on the wards, all recognised as Time magazine's Person of the Year. Tulip Mazumdar, BBC News.